Welcome back. If you live in Miami, you can probably tell with all the construction sites that among cities in the United States, we are thriving. But as NBC6 reporter Sophia Hernandez shares, there's now data to prove it, and all signs lead to the skies. You've been in Miami in the last 20 years, you've seen the skyline evolve significantly. Sean Orsini with the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat says when looking at the top 100 tallest buildings in the United States, Miami is home to 18 of them, putting our city at number three for the amount of tallest sky rises behind New York and Chicago. Our tallest one, the Waldorf Astoria Hotel and Residences. It's now under construction, set to be completed in 2026. These are becoming neighborhoods. Commissioner Damian Pardo represents District 2 of Miami. The people who live here are no stranger to high rises and have expressed to Pardo the cons of living near them. So usually what you'll hear is traffic, you'll hear about flooding, you're, you'll hear about congestion. Currently, according to the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, the city of Miami has 25 skyscrapers under construction, which may not seem like a crazy number, but what is crazy is that our city has grown by 66% in buildings over 100 meters tall in the last 10 years. And in the next 10 years, it's expected to keep growing 54% more buildings. But according to Usini, Miami skyscrapers are responding to a need, and it's not residential or commercial. My Miami's instead created a surprising trend, creating more office space. The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat found in one report that Miami's office vacancy rate was below the national average, meaning people in Miami are working in offices while the rest of the country is working remote. When you look at these new sites under construction, at least 14 of them will have partial office space. Some of them will be solely for work. Such as 848 South Brickell, where we have a 13-story office building from the 1980s. But some believe these skyscrapers, regardless of their use, pose a threat to the communities surrounding them. Affordable housing and workforce housing for us is top of mind constantly, 24-7, because we do have a crisis. For real estate experts like Ellie Baraja, they believe that with more proposals in the pipeline to build up, it's a sign that people want a different way of living that could bring economic growth to the area. Every time when you have a lot of construction, that means a lot of jobs, a lot of opportunities for people for uh, either the construction jobs, real estate jobs around them, or the jobs that will be created within those facilities. Baraja says while the change can be startling, the move to build higher won't go away anytime soon. Sophia Hernandez, NBC6 News.